The Silver Angel Audio Cast. What makes a society collapse? What causes a, so a society? I'm trying to put this in a way that's going to sound crazy today, but I guarantee it will come. Let's try it again. What makes people brainwashed to the point where they will give up their own life for the very country that is destroying them? Shit, this sounds crazy just when I'm me saying it. Oh, well, picture this. At the moment, people are so traumatised because of the wars going, along, wars going along in other countries. But what if that war came straight to your doorstep? You would traumatise the people. And there are many ways you can traumatise the people. You can traumatise them through mass media manipulation like the BBC and Fox News and whatever or you can have a war, war on that doorstep a fake war a real war or you can traumatize them by a fake pandemic or an epidemic or a fake alien invasion or anything that people will not understand, that the majority will never understand. And you traumatise them. And once you've got them traumatised, you can start to mould society in the way that you want it to be moulded. You can take down... You can literally have good people turn to anarchy. They can steal and murder and rape. When society starts to crumble, the elites the reptoid morons and the governments and the people beyond the governments because they're the ones that control this they will take minority groups and they will t give these minority groups so much power that the rest of society will feel guilty or bad for even listening to these people these people will be manipulated abused and controlled and they will control the rest of the world including the media, hospitals, and all of the organizations. Eventually, people will be so traumatized that they will allow anything to happen. They will accept child abuse, rape, murder, anything, as long as their government tells them that it is. And they will do this with trauma. And they will bring this trauma in any way they can People need to be aware of this because this is what's happening now and although it's happening on a small scale, it will happen. I guarantee it will happen. And people have to be aware of that. They have to be aware of what's going to happen. It happens in other countries, it's happened in China. It's happened in Russia, and although these countries may be bad, they are nothing compared to what's going to happen here. And it may not happen in 10 years or 20 years. Hopefully it'll happen long after I'm fucking dead. But it will happen. And when it does start to happen, there will be no going back. There will be no way to fix this problem. Because once people are that far gone, and they will be, there is nothing you can do about it. There is nothing anyone can do about it. Not sure exactly what will happen. But I do know that it's coming. And when it does come... Well, I'm not sure people will see it coming. And then by the time it's here, it will happen. And I'm sure there'll be thousands of people out there warning people of this, but they won't listen. They'll trust the hospitals, and the hospitals will murder their elderly, and they will experiment on their children. And I know this from personal, from 
personal experience. I was in hospital a lot during the late 70s, early 80s, and they had vaccination programs on children there. Children that were in there for no more than getting their tonsils out, or their adenoids out, or their appendix out. But the amount of vaccines that they would shove into people. One kid actually died in a hospital that I was in as a kid because of what they did to him. And others got sick. And others had long-term illnesses. Anyway, it doesn't matter about that's in the past. I'm lucky to be here, I guess. Maybe not, the way the world's going. But I'll tell you something. People will trust their hospitals. They will trust their doctors. They will trust their nurses, who will be so desensitised in the future that they will not care about their patients. They will only care about profit. And before people say that British hospitals don't make a profit, no, but pharmaceutical companies do, and they rely on hospitals in order to get that profit for them. So yes, yeah, someone always profits from these things. And like I said, it's going to get worse. There's going to be wars on your own doorstep. There's going to be, and it's going to, you know, there's going to be wars. There's going to be, you know, epidemics, pandemics, fake UFO, false flags. They'll, they'll throw everything they can at you, like poisoning the water, gas, anything to keep you in your houses, anything to keep you from going anywhere, from doing anything. You'll be trapped, and there'll be nothing you can do about it. And I guarantee that I'll get the blame for this. Years from now, if this does happen, I will get the blame because I'll be one of the first people to tell you that it's going to happen. But, you know, maybe it won't happen. Maybe I'm a crackpot. Anyway, uh, I don't know what else to say on this. There's not much else I can say. I mean, fuck. I've been right about certain things in the past, and I've never said anything about it, but I'm going to say this because I think it's too important. People need to wake the fuck up, and they need to wake the fuck up fast. When a simple gesture of love, a hug, or a kiss is considered wrong, then society is damaged and the perversions of the slime surfing reptoids have gained control. Then when society is broken they will destroy our children, murder our elderly, erase history and allow the minority to control the world and then murder, rape and child abuse will become the new normality. A normality of perversion. The people will allow this and they will be the destruction of mankind. Bear that in mind, people, because we are heading for something that we will never return from. I wish you all peace, because you're going to fucking need it. <laughs>